All right, Sumo fans, welcome to the video for the playoff to determine the champion of the September Basho at the Koku Gikan. Here it is. It's Sunday, the 24th of September. We've had all the regulation bouts. Atami Fuji lost to Asanoyama. Takikeisho beat Daisho. So both men now have an 11 and 4 record. That's the record that goes in the record book. Uh, the championship, they don't count this playoff as a numerical victory in their overall wins, etc. So the last time we had a championship decided with a, an 11 and 4 record was six years ago in the September 2017 tournament. Haramafuji uh, showed up, I think the only Yokozuna to show up that tournament, and uh, was able to win the championship with an 11 and 4. I don't know if he had to, to win it in the playoff or not. I can't quite remember. But yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Usually, championships are decided by 12s and 3s and 13 and 2 records. And then you get the occasional 14 and 1 or the even more rare Zen Show You Show 15 and 0. Although, if you were a fan in the past, say, 15 years of sumo, uh, Hakuho made it seem like uh, the Zen Show You Show wasn't so rare, and Asashoru also got his number of Zen Show You Show uh, during his time as Yokozuna. But uh, and I think Terano Fuji's had at least one Zen Show You Show, right? Uh, so it, you, you do see it from time to time. But uh, yeah, eleven and four is a fairly low record to be uh, the, the You Show winner. So one of these men uh, will will win it with an eleven and four. And uh, as, as you know, they fought each other on day 13. So a win here for the man in red, Maigashiro 15 Atami Fuji, uh, would be not only revenge for that earlier loss, but of course the championship. Uh, his first. Takakesho, on the other hand, the Ozeki uh, in black. Uh, this would be his, not only his fourth overall Yusho in the top division, but his second this year. Uh, if you remember back to January of this year, uh, Takakesho won the U Show. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it would uh, be a big win for the Ozeki. And like I said, if he can turn around and, and do it again in November in Fukuoka, uh, then uh, I think they're zooming in on uh, Atami Fuji's mom and sister in the crowd. Maybe they're trying to find them. Uh, he he would be become a Yokozuna, uh, which I have said a few times publicly that I didn't think would ever happen. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you win one, if you're in good health and you can come back strong in the next one, and of course we just don't know if Teru Fuji will be back yet or not, um, then he has every chance of winning again and and getting promoted to the highest rank in the sport. Okay, so who are you rooting for in this one? Uh, I am rooting for the man in red. Uh, I'm not going to be, you know, uh, just just the story is too great. I can't wait to see his interview if he wins. And, uh, you know, what what a way to re-enter the top division. He's only ever been in the top division one other time. And he got like a 4-11 and record or something. Um, and he went right back down to Jurio. So, Tommy Fuji, uh, not quite his debut tournament in the top division, but almost. And uh, from the low rank of Maigashiro 15, finds himself in a playoff with an Ozeki on the, the final day, day 15, to win the entire Emperor's Cup. So what a story that is. And let's see how it goes. Now, Tommy Fuji's had a lot more time to rest since his match with Asanoyama than Takikesho fought about, what, 12 minutes ago or so? So, that could come into play. Lucky ticket winners for today got their money's worth. What a what a way to finish this tournament. Mm. 
Taki Keisho towels there. What's in the mold? Homemade Atama Fuji sign. He doesn't really have a towel yet. あ、どうでしょう。また新しい勇気。さあ、どれだけ踏み込んで止められるでしょうか。優勝決定戦。大関の意地を見せれた高景勝、歴史を作るか、熱海富士。いきましょう。優勝決定戦です。I'm <笑> sure he's very nervous. Takakeisho is very calm. He's been here before. No! No! God damn it! That is not cool. <laughs> I mean, how anticlimactic can you be? <laughs> Alright, well, I just don't have anything good to say about that. I know some of you are like, eh, it's, it's, a, it's a strategy. He saw his eyes were down. He wasn't looking straight ahead or whatever you want to say. But to, you know, be an Ozeki and to jump out of the way and to try to just do an immediate moving backwards slap down. Uh, you know, maybe he's super tired after his, you know, match, you know, against Daesho. Who knows? But uh, uh, I'm not happy for him. You know, I just can't be. Uh, I don't think that's a, a good way for an Ozeki to win a match like that. But Atami Fuji, all hats off to him. What a great tournament. And it came down. And, you know, he'll learn from that. Um, I don't think he'll let that happen again necessarily if he can avoid it. And now they'll bring out all the hardware to give away the prizes, etc. And Takakeisho won't even watch the interview. Don't care. Um, and, uh, yeah. No shame, son. You did good. And he'll be, you know, he's made a lot of new fans this tournament who... Would have never known his name if he had just fought and gotten an eight and seven or a nine and six down at Maegashira 15, and a lot of people, you know, he'll go way up the bonds can. A lot of people will be looking at him to do well in November, and I hope he can, and prove that it wasn't just a fluke, and that he uh, is going to be a wrestler to keep your eye on from now on out. And uh, yep, oh well. So that finishes off a, a bit of a sour note for me. Uh, the you know if you're a Takakeisho fan, obviously you're happy, um, and uh, that is the last video of regulation, and uh, for September. So uh, yeah, I'll unlist this or no, it is already unlisted. I'll put it back up on the main channel in the next few days, and. Uh, like I said, the wrap-up will come next weekend. I'll announce all the prize winners. And uh, we'll talk about any other developments, injuries, etc. Not too many people pulled out of the tournament this time. So that's great. And per perhaps who, who we think is going to get promoted, demoted to Jurio, to the top division, based on some of the movement. They usually announce that on, say, Wednesday, which is the 27th. Uh, some of those movements, and so I'll know more by the 30th or the 1st. And there are all the top division winners and losers from today. So uh, a fair amount of people got their Kachikoshi, and a lot of 10, 10 double-digit wins, I should say. Midori Fuji got double-digit wins. Um, Miyogiru got double-digit wins. Uh, you know, Mitakeyumi got close. He got a 9-6. and six. He lost today, but... 
he was close, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Tomawashi, though, <coughs> got to try to see what what happened to him. Two and thirteen. Um, he'll stay in the top division, but he's going to just go way down the Bonds K. And we'll have to hope that Teruno Fuji can come back strong as the Yokozuna. Because I'm going to be there live on day 8. I want to see Teruno Fuji. I want to see the Yokozuna uh, fighting in the tournament. Okay, guys. Take care. Peace. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.